welcome back to the channel. I am Scorpio Simmer and this is um, Love and Hip Hop Atlanta Season 5 Episode 2 Full Disclosure and what a Monday this is. There are so many shows on tonight from RuPaul's Drag Race, Jane the Virgin, My Crazy Ex-Girlfriend, Dancing with the Stars, so many shows to choose from. The Fosters, I'm not even sure if it's still on now or not. And um... Yeah, so many shows to choose from, but I chose to watch Love and Hip Hop Atlanta because it is the second one. It's the one I favor the most out of the three from um, Love, and, uh, Love and Hip Hop and Love and Hip Hop Hollywood. But let us get into this review. I'm actually um, going to watch it and um, I'll tell you guys what I thought when I come back later. Previously on Love and Hip Hop Atlanta... We saw Mama D um, try to put a nest on this in their store press, and saw and see say Rashida was a rotten egg, and Erica's gone. Did they even say why did Erica leave, or did I miss that? Cause there was like some parts of season four that I missed, and then Mimi has a new love in her life, but it's not a man. It's actually a woman who she has been dating for a year, named Chris. In this episode, Carly Red is talking about how they are celebrating Mimi's boo's birthday and they're getting to know that it's a woman. And then they're still at um Chris's birthday. Um Tommy wants Tommy wanna know way too much. She's making a home for herself. And I think a fight is going to happen in this he episode. And it did, and there is like everything like you can see like everything everywhere and then Tammy and Tara Tara I don't know which one is messier Tammy or Tara and they could at least wore some underwear which is nasty but I think that was Tommy not Tara and then we and then it's the next day Rashida and Kirk moved into the condo that Kirk had hid from her and then um Tira did some like googling and you know what they do and saw that Tommy had 32 um, mug shots that's a lot and then Scrap um, needs to stop lying and just um, tell the truth and then we see Chris, Mimi, and Aaron um, I guess um, they were um, Mimi and her daughter were moving out, I guess, and something like that. There are some parts that I missed because I was, like, doing something. And this, mostly when I'm watching shows, like, even when I'm not reviewing something, I miss parts too. And then Mimi says that she identifies as the female in the relationship. And Chris identifies as male. And this is where I get confused. But uh, um, as soon as I, she explains, um, she feels, she says she feels like a boy in a female's body. And there's more on this subject at vh1.com. And then Aaron asks a lot of questions about Chris and Mimi's sex life. And I know that she's Mimi's best friend, but she is. You got you gotta give the woman some room, even though Mimi has. We all know Mimi got her sex tape out and all that, but we ain't gonna talk about that right now. It is Scrappy and Young Jock. Young Jock. And then we see Scrappy and Young Jock. Um, they are at their first modeling casting. No, uh, I'm sorry. That's later. I'm getting all lost in my notes. Uh, Young Jock is not letting go on this assistance, and he really wants to look. But Scrappy is like, "Don't go there. Don't go there, cause don't go there." And then we meet um D Smith, which we learn later on, which I'll be listening. Um. I'm messing up tonight. It was mention, uh, mentioning later on. And she's a model. And she, um, they're all Mimi, um, 
Mimi, Tammy, and I just watched the episode and I forgot who else it was. I'm um, going to the event for breast cancer awareness, and we get to see Bambi who is modeling her stuff. What girl? And then, um, doesn't okay, now we're gonna take a doesn't the Tommy and Tierra storyline seem a little bit of Mama D and Scrappy, Eric and Bambi, or um, from Love and Hot Hip Hop? Um, Amina, Tara, and Peter. Don't their storylines seem a little similar? And because I'm like getting like deja vu or I might, I don't know. But let me know that in the comments if their storylines kind of seem a little similar to you. And I'm sorry if you hear something a little extra. And um, then, okay, now it's the, the, the um, casting call for their own little modeling thing. Scrappy and Young Jock. And I know Young Jock can't help himself with all them beautiful women around. Because I know he's staring. And then Kirk said, because I guess they had to do something for Rosewood, the show. And Rosewood is really good, by the way. If you guys don't watch it, you should. You should check it out. It comes on right before Empire. And um, on Wednesday nights. D says... Um, she doesn't know if she wants to model her fashion line and then she tells her that she has been transitioning for a year from male to female and she says she has to think about whether or not she wants to model for her because of some things her husband Waka Flocka has said about transitioning and it's basically about Caitlyn Jenner and how come they were overdoing doing it and my well, yeah and then um, scrap and uh, scrap is something else because next we get to see um, Tommy and her and stuff like that but um, this girl uh, I forgot her name but um, Dee's friend or whatever yeah her voice is kind of annoying and is Jocelyn coming back because I kind of miss her <laughs> next week's trailer looks kind of interesting so Tommy and Tierra meet with Scrap and um we get to see what else happens so um so this is it I won't be reviewing um episode th um next week's episode which is episode 3 and the episode after that episode 4 but I will be back for episode 5 and we'll be reviewing that and don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all next time. Bye, Zodiacs.